Okay, so this lesson is uh, mainly on triangles. And the main thing you need to know about triangles, uh, the first thing it wants you to understand is that if we take a triangle, so let's take a triangle, it doesn't matter what triangle it is, but if we were to take these three angles in here, okay, all of these angles, and usually they'll name this triangle something like, uh, I don't know, just three random letters, okay? So you've got triangle UTE, and so if we took angle U and added it to angle T, and then added it to angle E, it doesn't matter what kind of triangle it is, as long as it's closed, if you have a triangle all three angles will always add up to 180 degrees. Now some of you remember from seventh grade that this means that this three angles have a supplementary relationship. It's always going to be 180 degrees. Now what they're going to do in other words is you're going to say if angle T is uh, 50 degrees and angle U is uh, hmm, 47 degrees, what is the measure of angle E? Well, you just take this, what we did there, so angle U, we just replace it with 47 degrees, we add that to angle T, which is 50 degrees, and we don't know what angle E is, so that's X plus 180, and you're just going to solve this like you would any other equation, so you can play the switch and stay game if you want, whatever the case may be, uh, some of you would say you'd subtract 50 here, subtract 47, and then you'd get x equals 83 degrees, and you'd be done, okay? So that's one way that this is going to work. Um, sometimes maybe they'll throw in an x, so instead of saying it's 50 degrees, they may say it's something like 50 plus x degrees, okay? And again, you're just using the switch and stay game down here to solve whatever missing value you may have. And that's all this is saying. Uh, yes, these are what we call the interior angles, this X, Y, Z stuff. So angles X, Y, and Z are all interior because they're on the inside of the triangle. So... Uh, some people, sometimes you'll refer to your house. You'll have the interior of the house and the exterior of the house, okay? Okay, so here's an example, but the thing is that some of you guys are getting confused because there's a picture, all right? Don't let the picture confuse you because it's most of this picture actually is not even important anyways. So in other words, all, when I look at this, all I really need to do is acknowledge that I've got a triangle right here okay it doesn't even matter that it's a right triangle right now all that matters is that I have that triangle and the rest of this I can get rid of so if I delete this and then got rid of this other part I'd be in good shape there we go so what it wants us to do is find the value of X all right so there's our X angle and so remember, we've got these three angles, and we need to add them together. So we've got angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 should equal 180 degrees, okay? So angle 1, let's say that this is 55 degrees. I'll add that to angle 2, which may be the X. And angle 3, you notice it doesn't give us a number there, but it does give us that box. So some of you know already that means it's 90 degrees. This equals 180 degrees. And from here we're just going to play the switch and stay game. So let's go through that. Uh, there's no need for distribution. Line through the equal sign brings it down. I'm going to put the x's on the left, numbers on the right. And that way it will stay a positive x. So 55, it's going to switch. Negative 55. X will stay. 90 will switch, and 180 will stay, all right? 
So x just comes right down because there's no adding or subtracting for it. But we do need to take these, and this negative 55 will minus 90, and then add 180. And what do we get there? Like that'll be 35 degrees, okay? So there we go. 35 degrees. And that's our answer for this one. The value of x is 35 degrees. All right, now notice in A, it doesn't give us a picture like it did for the example we just did. Uh, but uh, we can draw one, then. It, it, it won't matter if the angles are proportional or not. So let's get rid of this so we have some room. And again, this is not going to matter as long as we understand that all the angles inside add up to 180. So we could say we got triangle X, Y, Z. And we can say... From this, that angle X is 72 degrees, angle Y is 74 degrees, so what is the value of angle Z? Well, let's go ahead and get that solved. So the three angles added up together will give us 180 degrees. And we know from the information that was given, angle X is 72 degrees, angle Y is 74 degrees, we don't know the value of angle Z. So that's what we're going to need to solve for. So yes, some of you realize you'll just subtract 72 and 74 from this side. Whoops. And from here we just solve. So angle Z is going to equal this 180 minus 72 minus 74, which is... Like it's going to be 34 degrees. So uh, from looking at this, we can see that the measure of angle Z equals 34 degrees. And that's my answer. All right, this type of problem is just a little bit different because it tells us the ratio of how the angles are related, OK? Uh, so it says the measures of angles of triangle ABC are in the ratio 1 to 4 to 5. Or the measures of the angles. And yes, we can figure this out. Okay, so again, I'm just going to draw any general triangle. It doesn't matter. And we can say this is A, B, and C. And uh, so let's look at this. We got 1, 4, and 5. So let's start from the left. We'll let A be the 1 b is 4, and 5 is the c. Okay, what this means is that uh, in the ratio, uh, we're just going to compare these with x's. All right, so I've got x. Okay, if a is 1 of the x's, b then is 4 of the x's. And then c would be 5 of the x's. Okay, now again, it didn't give us any values here, but we can use the same concept to figure this out. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we know angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degrees. All right, so now that we have that written, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the picture. Okay, so actually, let's just move it up a little bit. We'll write a little bit more. So we know A is X, B is 4X, and C is 5X. That's going to equal 180 degrees. All right, so what we need to do first is solve for x. Then we can figure out the value of angles b and c as well. Uh, but since we're solving for x, which is angle a, then we'll just know angle a to start out with, okay? So switch and stay game. I've got my x's on the left, numbers on the right. x stays, 4x stays, 5x stays, 180 stays. So everything stayed. And which brings our equal sign down. So that's a 1x. We got 1x plus 4x plus 5x, which is 10x. And the 180 isn't adding or subtracting to anything, so we've just got 180 there. So we're on the last step of the switch and stay game. Let's divide by the coefficient. So let's take this, we'll divide by the coefficient, and as it turns out, x is 18 degrees. 
<coughs> so, angle A is 18 degrees. Then from there we can figure out angles B and C as well. But before we do that, we are going to have to do some multiplication here. <coughs> because we know angle B is 4 times X, so it's actually 4 times the 18. All right? And that'll give us 72 degrees. And this last one, angle C, is 5x. <clears throat> so I'm going to take 5 times 18, and that will give me 90 degrees. So this is my answer. And let's look back at the picture here, okay? So notice, from our answer, which is right here, we have all three angles. Uh, the picture really should have been a 90 degree angle, but we didn't know that at the time. All we wanted was a diagram, but in actuality, it would look maybe something like this, okay? So this would be A, B, and C. Um, but again, it didn't ask for the drawing. I'm just showing you that the drawing that we started with, this doesn't matter. As long as we, if, if it helps us to see that these uh, are there, then maybe that's helpful. I don't know. So you can use the drawing if you want, or you can just, and some of you may have realized, yeah, you can just skip right into this where you, the three angles added together equal 180 degrees. All right, so let's figure this B out. Take a moment and figure this, this one out. Okay, so again, I'm just going to use a quick model here just so I have something to look at. I've got angles L, M, and N. And again, we're going to write these in terms of X's. So you've got 2X to 4X, 6X, okay? So we'll just keep these in order, L, M, and N. So L would be 2X, M is 4X, and N, 6X. Now when we solve for x, it's not going to give us any one of the angles directly. But we do know that angle L plus angle M plus angle N will be 180 degrees. So let's look at these again. Uh, we've got angle L, which is 2x, plus angle M, which is 4x. And angle N, which is 6x, and this is going to equal 180. Again, we can play the switch and stay game right away in order to solve this problem. And maybe that's easier for you, I don't know, but uh, some of you know you can just combine the like terms, the x's, and that's fine as well. And give you 12x. But let's go ahead and play the switch and stay game just so we can kind of see how that works. X's and numbers. So I've got 2x here, 4x stays as well, that's positive, positive 6x stays, and 180 stays as well, alright? So how many x's do we got? We got uh, 2x plus 4x plus 6x, which is, once again, 12x, 180 isn't adding or subtracting to anything, so it's just 180. Final step in the switch and stay game. So we just need to divide by the coefficient, which is 12. The coefficient is just the number in front of the letter. And we end up getting x is equal to 15. All right, so x is equal to 15. But this is not our answer, right? Because in the original question, it wanted the measures of the angles. Uh, and yes, it's a notational thing. So if you wanted to write the measure of angle L is whatever... Measure of angle M equals, and the measure of angle N equals whatever it is, all right? Now, we know that X is 15 uh, from the work that we just did. And so let's figure out what the angle L is, okay? So angle L is 2X, the measure of angle L, L. Well, X is 15, so it's just 2 times 15, 
which as we can see here is 30 degrees. All right, and angle M is 4x, so 4 times 15 would give us 60 degrees. And finally, angle N will be 6x, so uh, 6 times 15, which will be 90 degrees. All right. And that's our answer right there, all three of those angles. So you can see in these types we do need to solve for x first and that will allow us to use um, the ratio that it gave us at the beginning of the question to solve for angles L, M, and N which we have found here. All right, well this, uh, this formula here really isn't too important. Uh, it is called the remote interior angles. It's from the remote interior angles, meaning if we were to look at this model here, uh, then see how angle one, it, it's on the same line. It's, uh, it's supplementary with angle C there, or angle B, C, A. Uh, so when it talks about the remote interior angles, it's talking about the two that are not supplementary with it. So that would be angles A and B. Okay, and if we look, since angle A, B, and C would make up a triangle, so there's supplementary, and angles C and angle 1 are also supplementary. We can cancel out the C, and what we'd be left with is angles B and A added together will equal angle 1. All right? So let's, let's look at an example of that. So here's an example, and it tells us that angle 4 is 135 degrees. Now, it doesn't tell us angle 2, but it does tell us angle K is 90 degrees, all right? Now, from this, we can see angle one is supplementary with angle four. So angle two and angle K are equal when added together to angle four. So angle two plus angle K will equal angle four from the remote interior stuff. And yes, there's another way to do this, and I'm going to show you that in a second. But in the meantime, we don't know angle 2. We do know angle K is 90 degrees. That equals angle 4, which was given to us as 135 degrees. So when you solve this, I'm just going to step, uh, skip a few steps. X equals 135 minus the 90, which would give us 45 degrees. So angle 2 is that value, and then uh, that's it for angle 2. And that's using remote interior angles, but I'm going to show you a different way to do it, okay? All right, let's look at this example. And uh, we, we can't really... Re refer to angle 4 as, as though it were the same as, he, as it was before, okay? Um, it, this looks the same, but we're going to use different values, okay? So angle 5 is 147 degrees. Now, if we look at this, we can see that, uh, it, well, at least if we focus on just that part of this problem. So let's let's get rid of everything else here. All right. So we don't we don't need any of this other stuff yet. Okay. But we do know that angle five plus angle two they're supplementary, so they're equal to one hundred eighty degrees. Now we already know and we can see.
that angle 5 is 147 degrees. And if we add that to angle 2, we'll get 180 degrees. All right? So you can use the switch and stay game to solve this. Whatever you may want to do. In any case, you'll get angle 2 is equal to 33 degrees. Okay? Now that's not what we were looking for. We were looking for angle 1, but this will lead us into the rest of it, okay? So angle 2 is 33 degrees. So let's look at the rest of the picture. So angle 2 is 33 degrees. So I've got a 33 degree angle right there. And what do we know about triangles? Well, we know that if we add all the angles together that are interior to the triangle, so in other words, angle 2 plus angle K plus angle 1, that would give us 180 degrees. Now we just figured out angle 2, it was 33 degrees. Uh, we can see angle K is 90 degrees, but angle 1 is the one that we want. So let's go ahead and figure out what angle 1 is. And that's all equal to 180 degrees. Okay. So I'll solve this however you want. Some of you may prefer to use an X right here, and that's okay. Uh, but in any case, solving for angle 1, you'll realize that angle 1 is equal to 57 degrees. All right, so there's two ways that you can solve these types of problems. You have the remote interior angles, or you can just solve using the supplementary relationships. And then uh, you'll be able to find the answer either way. If you try it one or the other way, see if you can solve it the other way and get the same answer because you will or you should get the same answer as we got here using the remote interior angles. All right, let's talk about this terminology stuff, this vocabulary. Supplementary angles add up to 180. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Vertical angles, however, is something that some students get a little confused on. And you've probably seen this in, you should have seen this in eighth, seventh grade, rather. But if we look at a problem here, uh, let's look at this angle right here, okay? This middle intersection is what we call the vertex and as it turns out this angle here is the same as this angle these two angles are the same measure and because they go through the vertex vertical vertex they're opposite from each other if it goes through the vertex they're vertical okay that's that's the only thing uh, but in the future, they may give you something maybe that looks a little bit uh, more confusing. So they'll give you three lines that go through the same intersection like this. Okay? And so it'll say, what, uh, what angle is vertical to this one? Well, you just go straight through the vertex, and you'll have that vertical angle.